Welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me today. Pull up a chair, sit down, grab your coffee, and we're going to have a little discussion about your disaster supplies and what you may have to have in your supply kit. But first, let's just take a moment and reflect on a few things that have gone on so far this year. Just this year. Now we all know about the Charlie Victor 19. That's a give me. If you haven't been affected by that, you must live under a rock. Look at all the fires and stuff that are going on on the west coast of the United States, from California all the way up through Oregon, Washington, all the way up through there. You know, some of those towns have been completely burned out. People have lost everything. Their homes are nothing but a blank concrete slab, just like they're getting ready to build a new home. Cars are completely burned out and people's lives have been lost. Some people didn't even have a chance to get out because the fires were moving so fast with the winds that they were just caught by surprise and their time to evacuate was too late. Now we've also had hurricanes. We've had the one that hit up into Louisiana, St. Charles, went up through that way, did a lot of damage flooding a lot of people still don't have power may not have power for a few more weeks makes it real tough if you have a family and you're trying to survive if you're not prepared you know the one thing that we haven't really had this year so far is an earthquake guess knock on wood there people right but for your disaster supplies you know, you want to make sure that you have your kits ready. Now, you can call it your disaster supply kit. You can call it your your uh, emergency supply kit. You can call it emergency whatever you want to call it kit. But you need to have a kit that's put together. And you need to make sure that you have a plan in case something does happen in your area. And you need to evacuate as soon as possible. You need something that is basically, quote, grab and go and get the hell out to save you and your family's life. When you are given the order to evacuate, more than likely, you probably should do what you are told to do. There is a reason why they are telling you to evacuate. I understand that there are a lot of people that do not like to do that. They're afraid that somebody's going to break into their home and steal all their stuff. And they want to stay and protect what is theirs. And I totally understand that. And I would have to agree that would be a very hard decision to make. Especially depending on the area that you do live in. Now, we haven't even got to winter time yet. And they're talking about this Charlie Victor 19 is supposed to come back around. We just don't know. That is an unknown thing that is really happening that we don't have really a clue on. Now they're talking that they're going to come out with some vaccination, you know, the magical potion that they want to take in and inject into all the American people, which I really will not be at the beginning of that line. You won't even find me in that line. They can come try to find me, but good luck. Now, we also have winter time coming around. Forecasters are predicting that it could be a colder than normal year this winter with higher amounts of snow and possibly more blizzards than normal. Now, they are predicting this just like they have to predict the hurricane season and everything else just to try to give people a heads up. So it may be something you may want to just consider. You may take it with a grain of salt. It doesn't really matter how you take it as long as you are prepared for you and your family. So let's just go over your disaster supply kit real quick. I'm going to list off a few things that you may want to make sure that you have on hand. Some things you may already have in your home and some things you may use on a daily basis. But the important thing is you have the things that you do need. So let's start right off. You need water. You need food. 
you need any prescriptions, uh, medications that you do take on a daily basis and stuff, you want to make sure that you have enough of those. You want to make sure that you have a first aid kit. You also want to make sure that you have any type of baby supplies that you do need if you have a baby. Your pet supplies. You want to make sure that you got, you know, plenty of pet supplies on hand. You know, you got to keep Fido happy. Now, you need bleach and eyedropper. The reason you need bleach and an eyedropper because you can purify your water with bleach with an eyedropper if you know the correct amount to put in there. You need blankets. You need emergency blankets, sleeping bags, maybe some uh, special glasses like you would use if you were running, say, a table saw or something like that. You know, eye protection. You know, you never know what may happen, what you may be dealing with. Extra clothing. You know, maybe some rain gear or anything of that nature. Personal hygiene products, whatever that in details, uh, pretty much the word spells it out for you. It's personal hygiene. Towelettes, you know, some way that you can keep, you know, your hands clean, certain body parts clean in case you do not have water. You need regular towels, you know, extra towels. You know, sanitation, like a bucket or something that you can, you know, make sure that, hey, you know, if you got to go, you got to go. Or if you got to clean, you got to clean. You know, something a lot of people may not have on hand would be like uh, plastic sheeting. You know, you can use trash bags for that also. Um, but you also can buy the rolls of plastic sheeting. You know, a tent, backpack, dust mask, gloves flashlights, batteries, matches, candles. You probably got candles in the house. Probably been sitting there for 10 years, but hey, they still work in a pinch. Light sticks, a knife, multi-purpose tool. You know, all these kind of things kind of go together, you know. May want to make sure that you have like a crowbar, maybe some pliers, wrench, you know, definitely want to make sure you got rope and cordage and duct tape. Duct tape is your savior. You can use duct tape on anything, you know. And if you're going to have canned goods with your food and stuff, you want to make sure you have a manual can opener. And for those of you that don't know what that looks like, Google it. You know, some of your kitchen items, your basic, you know, silverware, maybe some plastic bowls or something like that, scissors. Um, a fire extinguisher. Most people have one of those in their homes to begin with. So if you do have to leave in an evacuation, take it with you. It may come in handy. Now, something that I really push and I've done several videos on is you want to make sure that you have a compass, pen, and paper, and you know how to use the compass. Make sure you have a emergency radio, cell phone, and chargers. Okay. So you want to make sure that you have battery backups for your cell phones and just in, in case that you do not have power. Now you also want to make sure that you have, say, a whistle, maybe a single mirror. Uh, Two-way radios are great. Make sure that you have your any type of important documents. Make sure that they're in a watertight sealed bag or container. This way here you don't have to worry about them getting damaged or destroyed. Make sure you have regular maps paper maps not on your phone a paper map this way here if you have no signal no nothing um, your cell phone is dead if you have a map you can still try to navigate your way around it's not that difficult as long as you can read you should be fine make sure you got a camera maybe besides the camera that's on your phone go to Walmart Buy one of the cheap ones, you know, that takes batteries so you can have extra batteries so you can photograph certain things. You know, you may also want to make sure if you have kids, you want games, books, you know, that stuffed animal, whatever it may be. Extra set of keys. You never know if you might lose a set. Make sure you keep an extra set of keys. Cash, you know, you want to make sure you got some cash on you, some coins. Um, you know, small bills, don't get hundred dollar bills, get the smallest bills that you can get and make sure that you have an, a plan. 
a plan is the biggest thing that you're going to need out of this whole thing. And I've talked about this in my videos before. But a plan is what's going to save your life when it comes right down to it. And if you have a plan and if it's been put in place and everyone in your family knows about it and you have done practice drills on what you're supposed to do, who does what and when, then your chances of survival probably will be a lot greater than the average person. So I just wanted to bring a little video and talk about some disaster supplies and some of the things that are going on. We also are in an election year. And with the way that the protests and everything that have been going on, the way they've been going, I do not foresee that getting any better. But time will tell, just like we don't know what's going to happen in the fall and winter coming into spring of next year. Will the kids still be in school or will the kids be home? We just don't know now, do we? So, until next time, you all stay safe out there. You all stay prepped and ready. Get your disaster supply kit together. It might just save your life. Even if you just have a few of those things. It could be the difference between life and death. And pay attention Especially if you're warned that you need to leave if things are getting that bad. So, until next time, Survival Preparedness for Beginners, I'll catch you on the flip side. <music>